Hey guys, this is Awesome John 22 coming to you today with a mini review. Today we are taking a look at the first Repro Labels set we have ever taken a look at on this channel, and I'm very excited about it. I typically don't buy Repro Labels. I am typically okay with the paint apps and the molded details that come with figures. However, recently, that has started to become untrue. And uh, it was especially true for this guy. If you remember, I, I talked about at least I believe I recall talking about, there were a lot of areas on this figure that just weren't picked out. And so I went ahead and bought this, not just for the missing paint apps on the sides of his vehicle mode, which I did mention, I do remember that for sure, but for all of the other amazing things that this does. And uh, real quick, I'm just going to break them down by mode and uh, then give like a brief summation of what I feel about the set. In robot mode here, we have yellow details now on his uh, knees, as well as these yellow arrows on his arms, which resemble the original G1 figure. We have chrome silver on his abdomen, and these shapes here are now picked out in red. The Repro label set did come with some additional stickers for his shoulders. On one of the three sticker sheets as you can see here we have some black ones and we have some red ones and that is because on a lot of people's figures let's move this off to the side the uh, Autobot stickers were off-center on mine that wasn't a problem so I didn't use any of them because I do prefer the larger Autobot symbols but I don't count it against you if you don't it's every everyone has their own preference and the best thing about repro labels is that that preference can be, you know, represented. And I, I, I think that's fantastic. you also notice he now has black windshields, which of course carries over into his vehicle mode. And this is the one that I feel shines the most. You can see all of the gray on the side here that should have been red is now picked out in red. That is so similar to the color of his red plastic that I can't imagine ever being able to tell the difference unless they fade which shouldn't be a problem these are really well done stickers he now has these chrome and red stripes down the side chrome here on the side uh, actual headlights we have these yellow lights here and these reflectors on the sides the uh, emblem here on the front whichever uh, car brand is meant to represent is now a uh, really nice glossy silvery blue color uh, we have this section up here which did have stickers which could have covered it in red I chose not to go with those I like this I like that it implies silver like a silver metal I think that's better and in fact I might paint those silver myself at some point and just complete the look but this mode really gets the best of the set um, we do have now tail lights back here as well as um, I, I guess those would be rear fog lights maybe I'm not really sure but it looks really good is the point and I just I mean just look at that thing look at it look at it it's 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 great but of course repro labels being the fantastic company that it is didn't stop with robot and vehicle mode they added new details to his combined mode too as you can see here there are now blue details in his uh, hip pieces and you have the black windshields carrying over into this mode as well and it brings this uniformity across the width of the chest if you go with the closed look but even better all of the stuff in here that wasn't picked out and made me dislike this look for the figure is now picked out. You have these big yellow pieces here, you have this yellow here, and you have this great all-spark looking blue thing here that could be the Matrix. It, it's, it's just fantastic and it's all very reflective and has great texture to it and I just love it. As I mentioned, I'm not typically the kind of guy who goes for the rapper labels thing, but in terms of this set, I couldn't recommend it more. 